Question number seven is a probability sum. Now, before we start this sum, let's start with a little review. Now, probability it is the science of chance or to be more precise it's the math of chance probability is the math of chance and it is expressed as a percentage percentage that means the total probability is hundred percent so whenever we are talking about probability we are talking about out of hundred hundred percent and you know that a percentage can be expressed in a fraction or in a decimal so the first concept of probability is that total probability is 1 or 100 percent so summation of probability is 1 the next thing is if you want to find the probability of something happening for example the probability of yes it will be 1 minus probability of no because if total probability is 100% or 1, it means if I say the probability of passing is 70%, so what is the probability of failing? That means 100% minus 70%, that means 30%, just 1 minus that. 1 represents 100%. Per, per means divided by, cent means 100. So 100% means 100 divided by 100 means 1. Another rule is called the addition rule of probability. This is the addition rule also known as the AND rule, also known as the OR rule. That means if you have two probabilities, this or that, it means you add the probability. So the probability of A happening or the probability of B happening means probability of A plus probability of B. That is the OR rule of probability. Then there is the product rule of probability. Product rule, also known as independent probability. So probability of A happening and then B happening, that means probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. So this is the basic rule of probability that we need to know before we get started. So here the question is, in a school there are 148 students in class 12 and class 13 studying science, humanities and arts. So we have science we have humanities and we have arts we have three subjects total of 148 students and we know of these 89 were glasses so we have new category glasses and no glasses so it's a good idea to draw a table for some like that if you have a table like this so the main thing is glasses and no glasses so we have science category then we have humanities category then we have the arts category the arts category let's make a table and fill up the table so this can be the total and this can also be the total okay so the first thing is that there are 89 altogether who wear glasses so if this is glasses if we add the science humanities and arts together it should be 89 and they are all together 148 students so if you write a total of 148 students that means uh, if you have 148 minus 89 that means 148 minus 89 that would be 59 so no glasses a total of 59 students so there are 30 science students so we have altogether a total science students 30 out of this 30 18 were glasses so 18 
wear glasses. So that means 12 does not wear any glasses. Then we have for humanities 68. Oh, they say the corresponding figures for humanities students are 68 and 44. That means there are 68 altogether students in humanities and out of the 68 44 were glasses 44 were glasses because corresponding meaning like the previous sentence there are 30 science students altogether of whom 18 were glasses that means there are 68 students of humanities altogether of which 44 were glasses that means uh, 24 they do not wear glasses now we can calculate the arts very easily first of all if you know altogether there are 89 students who wear glasses so if you subtract it from 89 if you subtract 18 and 44 that means there are 27 students in arts who wear glasses again in the next one if you have 59 so from the 59 if you subtract these two figures so minus 12 minus 24 that would be 23 now if you add this two up if you add this two up this would be 50 so there would be 50 altogether art students so this is the table and using this table we can easily calculate the probability so let's let's find the probability now before doing this probability sum let me write down the basic rule for probability when you have to find probability the basic rule is this probability of something probability of something that you want so is going to be upstairs for example you want the probability of something happening let me call that event that has to be upstairs divided by total event also known as sample space sample space that means probability of something that you want that thing to happen divided by probability of all the things that can happen that's the formula for probability okay so let's do this sum now so we want to find the probability that a person studies arts so probability of arts so what you want the event is the person has to be an art student so total of arts glasses or no glasses there are 50 art students so you write 50 here that's the event that you want divided by total sample space everything that can happen so there are altogether 148 students in total so 50 divided by 148 that's the probability they're looking for okay in question number one in question number seven a you have four marks so two of it would be here in drawing the table because without this information you cannot do the sum and the other two marks is for here let's move on to the next one So the next question is does not wear glasses given that the student is studying arts okay so for this probability does not wear glass you write out the whole thing given art student okay so now first of all whatever information is given that is the total so the total of art students is there are 50 students who take arts okay so there are 50 students now out of these 50 students they're saying do not wear glasses so if there are art students 50 and no glasses there are 23 students who do not wear glasses so this should be 23 by 50 very straightforward and very simple let's move on to the next question question number question number C now here they're giving some more information now in question number C they're giving the probability that someone is sign student and right hand handed is you multiply the probability of sign student with 80 percent because 80 percent of the sign students are right handed so this is the first information that we have 80 percent of sign students are right handed then we have humanities 75 percent of humanities are right handed and we have 
seventy percent of art students are right-handed so this is given now the question is find the probability the student is right-handed now look what can happen if a person is right-handed the person can be science student and right-handed let me write it as s r this means science student and right-handed or the person can be humanity student and right-handed so let me write h r or the person can be art student and right-handed let me write a r so we know the probability of a person being a science student let's check the probability here so probability of being a science student and uh, a science student is there are altogether 30 science students that's the event and there are 148 students so probability of being a science student is 30 out of 148 remember probability means what you want divided by total sample space means total so science student is 30 and you have a total of 148 students so probability of being a science student is 30 out of 148 and right-handed means 80 percent are right-handed so you multiply this with 80 percent means 0.8 or or means or rule addition then you have humanity student and right-handed let's check the table again there are altogether 68 students who are humanity student remember that is the event and the total is 148 so it means 68 by 148 so this is going to be 68 by 148 and right-handed so the probability of humanity students and right-handed means multiplied by 75 percent 0.75 or probability of art student and right-handed so probability of being an art student art student total is 50 students are do studies art divided by 148 so 50 by 148 so this would be 50 by 148 times 70 percent of them study are they're right-handed so 0.7 so let's calculate this let's bring out the calculator this should be remember the calculator can understand plus minus multiplication very easily without the use of brackets you don't have to worry about brackets here only the division requires brackets so 30 into let's multiply upstairs first 30 into 0.8 Point eight divided by one forty eight one forty eight plus sixty eight into point seven five sixty eight into point seven five divided by one forty eight one forty eight plus fifty into point seven so this is going to be fifty into point seven divided by one forty eight one forty eight so let's calculate the probability is point seven four three two probabilities it's two four decimal places good enough point seven four three two point seven four three two let me check the calculator again point seven four three two so that's the probability so the next question is okay given that this student is right-handed find the probability that the student is studying science subject now let me say a little bit about this when you have a question where one probability is given for example find the probability of A given the probability of B this is called conditional probability conditional probability now in conditional probability what you have to do is it is often written as this a and a vertical bar sign b this means find the probability of a given the probability of b and you can think of this as a formula is probability of a uh, let me mention one thing the actual formula is probability of A intersection B uh, if you're talking about technical terms 
divided by probability of B the second one will always be the probability of B and this one will be A intersection B let me explain what this means this A intersection means nothing but independent probabilities multiply the two probabilities together that's what it means multiply the probability of this of this uh, the intersection between them so let me explain through this sum now they're saying find the probability that the person is studying science given that the person is right-handed now probability of science let me give that vertical sign that means given that person is right-handed so this means what you can do is downstairs you can put the probability of right-handed now in the previous sum if you take the help of the previous sum we know the probability of right-handed means science right-handed or humanity right-handed or arts right-handed and or if you add it up together it becomes 0 0.7432 put that downstairs 0 0.7432 now upstairs what it has to be it has to be a intersection we meaning science and right-handed and we had already calculated that science and right-handed means probability of science is 30 divided by 148 multiplied by probability of being right-handed and science that is 80 percent that means into 0 0.8 so if we calculate this that means uh, 30 by 114 into 0.8 means 30 into 0.8 by 148 so we get this and we divide it with 0 0.7432 0 0.7432 so when we do that we get 0 0.2182 0 0.2182 let me check again we get 0 0.2182 so that's what we get so this is a probability sum and this is actually a special type of probability sum and there are number of times that this type of sum is given and this category is where we have to make a table of our own and the rest is pretty straightforward remember in probability the basic rule for probability is finding out what you want divided by the total number of items that you have and total probability is 100 percent probability of something happening is 1 minus probability of something not happening addition rule is you add up the probability when you say or product rule is you multiply the probability when you say and